everyone, welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel if you are new here, my name is Kelsey. Today I have a fall trend alert, which I'm really excited about because it's the fall trend alert, which means it is like the peak of the fashion season, fall and winter, the runway shows get more exquisite, the magazines get thicker. I'm excited, you guys have been requesting a fall trend alert since like June, so I'm really excited to be able to show you guys all these trends. There's one in specific that is very beneficial to you guys. I know you're gonna love it and be like very excited about it, so it's not the first trend though. But the first trend that I have is actually corsets. Of course, a lot of fashion always gets inspired by like earlier times of fashion and things always come back. That's always a thing, but I feel like specifically, this is like a very weird, odd specific, I'm going to say the 1950s and like sometime in the late 1700s are like really speaking to me right now. I don't know. I don't know. It's something about the like whole Victorian or maybe it's the Elizabethan. I don't know. I need to like do some history, but something about like the mid to late 1700s, that fashion. I don't know, I've been buying like books. Wait, hold on, I just have this brand new one. Let me get it. <laughs> okay, wait, it's right over here. This is actually an art book. It's not even a fashion book, but it's from 1684 to 1721. And like, look at her outfit. You know, looks like something straight off the Zimmerman runway 2019. You know what I'm saying? I've been really inspired by this time period for fashion specifically, and they wore so many corsets back then. That was a thing. Nobody wanted a waistline back then. I don't know what it was, but they had so many corsets and they were so beautiful and I love this whole corset trend. I'm gonna put tons of photos on the screen, obviously, of like different corsets that are out right now. You can style them like over, like especially when you wear something bigger, chunky, and like flowy to like use that to like cinch over the top. And then you have all the like ruched fabric coming out. That's the look. I love that, like a big knit sweater with like a silk corset or putting it over like a blazer or like a flowy dress so then the fabric like flows out in ruches but it's like cinched here. Do you get what I'm, are you picking up what I'm putting down? Cause I am. So let me see here. Okay, the next trend we have is the really exciting one. Yes, I do write them down all on my phone. I just turned the flashlight on. So this next trend is the one that I knew was gonna like help you guys out, benefit you guys. If you've watched my channel even once, if you know my Instagram, you know that I love vintage fashion. I mean, I literally just said it like five seconds ago. I love vintage fashion. I've always been a big sort of like thrifty vintage vibe sort of person. But I know a lot of you guys always say that you don't have thrift stores where you live or you don't have Goodwills where you live or you just don't get lucky in the stores near you depending on where you live. So for this video, so for this video, I have partnered up with ThreadUp, which is an online vintage shopping store. So ThreadUp is actually the world's largest online thrift store. They have up to 90% off brand names, yet they have like designer brand names. You guys will see, I'm gonna give you like a mini haul. Yes, there's gonna be a mini haul in this trend alert. This is like the peak of my trend alerts. I also have, because I love you guys, if you use the link in my description, I have a code that you can use. It'll also be on the screen here for an extra 30% off when you guys order. So I'm just just trying to save you guys as much as possible so that you can pull through with the Kelsey Simone fall trend alert and have those super cute outfits. You're welcome. <laughs> I'm gonna give you guys like a little haul of what I got. I'm looking here. I didn't spend over $50 on a piece and everything that I got is a name brand by the way. So let me cover that because I'm gonna show you guys my address but I have all of my stuff from ThreadUp and I just want to let you guys know. On my receipt, okay, are you ready? This is how much I saved using ThreadUp. I saved $1,365. Shopping on ThreadUp. I have two here, which I just, <laughs> I just now noticed I never even like mentioned what the trend is. We're talking about blazers. Blazers has obviously been in for a little bit now, but I just feel like they're just peaking right now and everybody's wearing blazers. You can literally style them with everything and anything. And my collection is just growing unmeasurably large. So I got two blazers actually from ThreadUp. The first one that I got, again, all name brand. So I'm so excited. I have this Tommy Hilfiger neutral blazer, which I do not need another nude blazer. I have like four of them already. But this one, I just loved the way that it looked. This also goes with another old trend I talked about, the equestrian look. This totally goes with that like equestrian vibe to wear like some suede pants and like a cool white blouse underneath. That would be really cool, but I love this color of beige. Um, I feel like all of mine are definitely a lot more warm toned, like I didn't have one this like light of a beige. So I really loved this one and this fabric for some reason, 
I didn't even expect it to be this fabric, but it's like stretchy and comfortable. This Tommy Hilfiger blazer is $250 if you were to buy it in store, and I got it for $18.99. And the second blazer that I got is from Shawnee. This blazer is originally $45, and I got it for $14.99. So this blazer is like kind of cropped, and it has this string to be able to tie it at the waist. Most of these things still even have the tags on them, which... Of course, like thread up, it's a vintage store, so it's obviously second hand, but like a lot, I think about half the pieces I got are brand new with the tags still on them. It has these really beautiful, intricate, like buttons with some bling on it, which is so pretty. So I think this would be really pretty to actually wear as a top with a pair of jeans and just like black boots. You could do it really simple like that. Or I would wear this over top, like a long, silky dress, or like Actually to wear it with this skirt would be cool. So that was actually trend number two, but I have a few more things in the haul I'm gonna show you before we move on. So then I have this Alice and Olivia sweater. It is a really pretty brown wool sweater with this little, I don't even know, circle thing. Is that supposed to be like an eye or a circle? I have no idea, but I thought it was really fun, which this is again, not one of my trends, but something that I've been seeing a lot is like these little like graphic sweaters. Graphic sweaters are very in. I should have wrote that down. Okay, this is now one of the other trends. Graphic sweaters are really in. I almost bought one from Ralph Lauren when I was at the store with like this little teddy bear on it. I should have gotten it, but I didn't. This Alice and Olivia sweater, are you ready? This was originally $428, and on ThreadUp, I got it for $45. Like, that's so good. If you watched my Fashion Week vlog, or if you even watched the last one from the last season, both shows, I went to the Nicole Miller show, and she dressed me, and it was amazing. So I saw that on ThreadUp. You can, like, search by designers, which is, by the way, so helpful. Love that feature. And they had a Nicole Miller section, and... I don't know, I just kind of died inside. I really loved the idea of getting a vintage Nicole Miller dress. Look how pretty this is, which is funny because I wore something really similar to this in this year. Like, it was definitely inspired. It was the same, like, gorgeous fabric, but I wore it in, like, a charcoal color, and it was, like, a turtleneck instead of a tank top, but I love this dress. Oh my gosh, are you kidding? This is so stunning. So this dress from Nicole Miller was originally $465 and I got it for $20. That is so good. Then we have this star dress of the show. Look how beautiful. It's this beautiful long maxi dress. It's got this really pretty print on it. It's just, it's even got these little feathery details. I literally have never worn feathers in my life, but I thought that was kind of adorable. I'm a sucker for a long maxi dress and it just fits so beautifully. So this is from Ralph Lauren, which I love Ralph Lauren, by the way. This dress was originally $155 and I got it for $35.99. It's so beautiful and I think maxi dresses are something that are like really easily transitioned into fall because you could style a sweater underneath, like a fitted like turtleneck and just like have this like over the top like that see how that looks or you could put like a big chunky oversized sweater on top and just have like the bottom of the dress blowing out with some like heeled boots underneath so so cute I love doing that so this is definitely something I'll probably be doing that with so last two pieces that I have here I have again see brand new with the tags on I have this dress from laundry it is a very pretty beautiful printed wrap dress with these longer sleeves so perfect transition into fall and I also love this black and white really fun print on it so this dress was originally $138 and I got it for $28.99 which is just such a steal. Every piece is such a steal. And of course, jeans are just super essential for the fall, so I wanted a really nice, just crisp white pair of Levi's. Look how just crisp and white and beautiful these are. They don't have any cuts on them. I also wanted that as well. I just wanted like a clean pair of jeans. For these Levi's, and again, Levi's are also something that are so hard to thrift that thread up is like the perfect thing for, because I always, I get lucky finding like vintage Levi's jeans, but I know that that's like one of the number one sought after things. So most thrift stores, like don't have that many because everybody picks them out first so these I got these were originally $60 I got them for $14.99 you cannot beat $14.99 Levi's and that is everything that I have from ThreadUp so end of the haul back to the trend alert but thank you again so much to ThreadUp for sponsoring this video I knew that this would like help you guys so much so the second they contacted me I was like wow this could be really useful for you guys so I'm really excited I mean you guys know how much I love vintage stuff again my 30% off code I'll have it on screen and I will have it in the description for you guys to use so the next trend that 
I have is jewelry over clothing, which I know that's kind of like a weird concept. Um, so I've been seeing this a lot, specifically like wearing bracelets or watches like over your sleeve. Like if you have like one of those like dramatic big oversized sleeves or just like a blazer sleeve or like a big chunky sweater and you put your bracelet or your watch over the sleeve. Or I've seen people wearing like really flowy dress pants and putting like your strings to your heels over it or like putting an anklet over top. Even I've seen stockings, like girls will put anklets on top of their stockings, which let me just tell you that is such a look right now. I'm obsessed with that. I've seen so many little just like fun things like that and I've been loving that. I don't have much example. <laughs> so for the example, I just want to show you guys this. I have this little pearl anklet, which is actually the only anklet I own. I love, 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 love anklets, like the idea of them. I don't know why. I've just never bought them before. This is actually from my own collection, by the way, if you're wondering, which will also be in the description. Love ya. <laughs> and I know we're getting close to the end, but last trend is what I'm calling the white flowy ensemble. I didn't really know what to call it, but I'm going to post a bunch of pictures up on the screen right now. I have been seeing so many of these like oversized, flowy, layered white outfits, whether it's like a dress with like a long trench coat, like the whole outfit is white, or at least like 85% of the outfit is white, and it's like a huge like oversized white sweater on top of a flowy white dress or like a really long flowy maxi skirt with a flowy blouse or again like a short flowy white dress with like a long white trench coat with white boots, white belt, like a whole white ensemble is amazing and let me tell you that is so my style like I've been loving it I've been digging it I'm so happy that is like a thing right now and it's great so it's like a perfect way to like transition I feel like a lot of these trends are like transitionable to taking your summer wardrobe pieces and turning them into fall outfits so you can still wear all your like super flowy white summer dresses and now bring them into fall by warming them up with just white sweaters and white trench coats and white knee-high boots and white belts and white long skirts and just warming up your white flowy summer pieces the best. Just layer all of your white pieces from the beach and now you have your fall outfit. And that is it for this trend alert. I hope that you guys enjoyed this trend alert. I know it was a little bit different. We had a, like a little haul time. It was fun. I know this may have not even been that many trends, but yeah, I hope that you guys loved it. I'm already getting excited for the winter trend alert. If you want me to continue doing these seasonally, if you like these videos, make sure to give it a thumbs up to let me know. That way I'll know to keep doing them. Also make sure to check out the links in the description for ThreadUp. Make sure to go shop, get your vintage clothes, amazing deals and also an extra 30% off when you use my code and my link. Make sure to check out my Instagram to see me wearing a ton of these winter trends and also maybe if you haven't already see my looks from Fashion Week. And also make sure to subscribe to my channel. I post more fashion related videos just like this every single Friday. I love you guys so so much and I will see you in my next video. Mwah.